Hey guys, what's up? My name's Dominic, and for you today I'm bringing you the defense replays with this base design. And basically, what I'm bringing this base is I posted this base on Clash of Clans forum threads. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to see a more detailed analysis on this base with quite a few comments in the threads below as well, showing me, telling me what to improve in this base. And yeah, I'm not really going to comment on this video. This not this video. This attack because it's not really good, but. Just showing you guys that this base design is actually the most successful I've had. Created it mainly myself here, used the layout, customized it quite a bit, put the air sweeper in its location, put the air mines in its locations, and yeah, I'm just gonna. There's a link now on the screen and while you're in the introduction of the speed build if you have not seen it yet and you want to make this base design. But anyway, so getting to the first or the second raid is a lava lunar attack strategy here with only one hero and three rage and one light and just waiting for it to start it's quite a new feature it's annoying quite a long introduction to raids but anyway okay so it places three lava hounds on one air defense here i feel that this could be quite like a bad mistake but as you can see one lava hound's already popped another lava hound's about to pop out and there you go that's the second and now there's only two lava hounds left one struggling on that other air defense on its own and there you go three lava hounds have already popped i think he carried oh no okay there's the last one's popped now and <clears throat> as you can see he didn't really plan this raid properly i don't think he expected those lava hounds to die off that quickly and all you see from here is two lava pups standing he's Praying that these are gonna get a 50% for him just to get him some loot from here. If that one lava pup went downwards, maybe he could have scavenged something from this raid because there was about a good minute and a half left for them to get those structures down. But anyway, he's gonna end it here about 40% maybe, 42%, yeah, 42%, and that's it. So anyway, so for our third raid, we got the most more experienced attack strategy: go lava loon here. Well. He's carrying two witches. I don't really. When I do my attack strategies, I don't usually use it. And yeah, I'm gonna make a video about how not to attack if we go lava loon because I'm new to the strategy and I've only got level one lava hounds, which is a really bad idea making it with this strategy. But I'll, I'll save that video for tomorrow anyway. And yeah, he's got level two lava hounds. And as you can see, he's placed down his barbarian king here, not filtered him through to the center and neither is he done with his queen but anyway as he deals with the clan castle troops not very well because there's no king and queen down there only a few wizards he lightnings them doesn't get rid of the main cause there of problem which was the wizards and okay now they're all gone but the queen is still standing for this to actually look like a successful go lava loon strategy you want at least one air defense down and mainly or definitely the queen down because that's your primary aim from the start of his strategy so anyway his queen thankfully for him turned towards the center and not like his king had just died off it shopping the base and as you can see he takes down the first air defense saves this royal cloak very well there to destroy my queen there with only two shots and from here he spent about one minute 35 seconds only 1 minute 35 seconds left to destroy over 76 or to destroy 76% of my base which didn't really look good but I don't think he noticed the time so he didn't just didn't really affect him much from the start but as you can see the air sweeper as you can see right now at the top the air sweeper pushes that one balloon away which provides a tesla enough time to destroy it that keeps the air sweeper standing which is vital for that remaining of this raid and honestly I take back all I said from the previous video the air sweeper is actually really good here and as you can see now all the there's only a few lava pups left and there you go the air sweeper causing massive irritation here to those balloons pushing them back getting them further and further back but anyway it's out of reach now and the balloons have all died off about now and from here because he'd spent so long trying to destroy the air defense and my queen he only had about a minute and 35 seconds left to destroy the rest of my base which was not enough time and here for the final raid i'm bringing you the go wee wee attack strategy this was one of my weaker defenses here 
he did manage to get quite a good result out of this from his art point of view but me being a low town hall 9 I don't think well I don't know what they think thought about it but being a my me being the lowest town hall 9 it should be getting three stars and that's why I'm using the space design because it's incredible for defending and anyway so you go so a mass amount of troops and I think every single witch turns towards center plenty of wizards and here the golems they provide brilliant shield here they set off all three giant bombs as you go there without any of those troops dying which was a bit disappointing for me but okay, actually quite a few troops died down the center actually but not enough from the first giant bomb to have any chance of them not getting the town hall but from here the troops can't get out of the center and this is quite a successful defense for me being the lowest town hall knight as you can see here against the clan what's their name the war is crap yeah so me lowest town hall nine didn't get three star me i don't think they're gonna attack me again because their aim was two stars i think coming in with that attack strategy and yeah that pretty much wraps up this video i'm just gonna collect my clan car salute there just so i don't forget and then my clan castle overloads and I don't get full loot from this current war at the moment. So I just like, upgrade a few more walls to Lego. I want to get them all Lego at least before I upgrade Town Hall to Town Hall 10. Which I'm not even thinking about at the moment. That's a way long off. That's a long way away. And there uh, as you can see, Air Sweeper going to level 3. I'm going to upgrade it as soon as that is done. Because I want to get him full as possible. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you guys look forward to tomorrow's video and peace.